Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is what we're going for in today's video. It's a really simple uh, count up by seconds timer, and it's a custom HUD message device that we are linking into our verse code. So it's a really simple setup. Try to be quick about it. Let's go. So what we need is the verse code. And I wrote a very, very simple count up timer verse code. And I'll go ahead and put the link down below. But basically, the only, uh, actually, we'll go ahead and make this an editable here. So that's going to be your max time. It really should be called max time, but I'm making this for a friend, and their variable name was timer sec. So that's why it's called that. But really, this should just be called the max time, because that's, uh, the loop will break. Oh, I can't call it max time, because it's already called max time. Uh in seconds max time in seconds okay so we got an editable and all that this uh it's a very basic timer we've seen these a lot it's just if uh, the seconds is greater than 59 it increases the minute counter it does a, a short format for minutes and seconds it doesn't do hours in minutes so if you need this to last up to an hour or more, you need to add a section in here for uh, checking to see if you need to format the uh, minutes as well. So because right now it'll just go past 60 minutes, it won't format it to hours. Anyways, and then we just set the text message that's in the HUD message device here. Okay, so. So this is the code. I'll link to it. It's very simple. I tried to comment it well. Beyond that, we're going to go ahead into the editor, and we're going to drag that code into, just like this, into the world. Okay, And then we just got to set the actual HUD message device that we're going to use. I've got this one here. Just to, it, In fact, here, I'll just clear everything real quick so that we'll do it from scratch. We got the devices here, HUD message. We just drag this in, and now that it's there, it'll appear in our HUD message device that we called main HUD. And actually, we should be able to first build this verse code real quick so that we can get that second uh, variable here. So now we've got max time. I'm just going to set it to 15 for our for our test. Okay. So now we want to tie in a custom HUD message because right now we're just getting this basic one. And I'm going to go ahead and push the changes <clears throat> while I'm working in the background so that we can see uh, exactly what is going on here before I change and after I change. So uh, because the basic HUD message is just the, the very basic text on the screen. And then you get these options as well. But if you want anything fancy, you have to do your own HUD message device. Or I'm sorry, blueprint. So I had one here I was working with, and we're just going to delete it and start over again. So what you do is go to where you want to create it and right click. Under user interface, you go to widget blueprint, user widget, widget blueprint, user widget. <laughs> timer. Okay, so timer. I usually always start with a canvas and an overlay. If you start with a canvas and an overlay, you can resize it correctly. <clears throat> okay, so if you start with your canvas panel, your canvas panel covers the entire screen. Okay, and it's just it's saying that this is a place where widgets can go. And then uh your overlay actually says and this is where they will go so your your overlay here not only allows it says where but it allows widgets to be stocked stacked on top of each other in layers so you uh, need a canvas panel and an overlay if you don't have those and you and you're just working with the basic widget okay if i don't have these things then that would be like saying that whatever size this text block is going to be is going to be the size of the whole widget so like 
I don't actually have a place. This is what you want to use if you like have a button, a single button that, that you wanted to, you know, adjust. And then you would take this. Okay, I'm rambling here. Let's go back to this canvas panel overlay. We want to get this set up correctly. So we're going to go anchors and whatever you select here, we're going to have to match up to the selection uh, in the placement here. <clears throat> so just for basic purposes, I'm going to select this one. This one's called center full, center full. Okay, center full. And then we go zero and zero. And now we've got an overlay that covers the entire canvas panel, no matter what that canvas panel resizes to. All right. I hope that makes sense. So now that we've got that, we can go ahead and start adding other other elements to this. Like, let's say we wanted to add an image, but really you wouldn't just throw the image right on there. But you could if you wanted to, but we can anchor it right to the middle. Zero, zero. And let's say position negative 100, position negative 100, size 200, size, uh, let's just go with probably 100. Just for, just for testing purposes, because I want to show y'all what a custom cool little widget. I'm going to give it this cool and a pinkish purple color. Why not? And then we just want to throw some text on there, right? So we are just going to actually see this is why I shouldn't have just oh wasn't actually attached here. It wasn't attached. See, and really I should have another thing attaching these two together, like on top of this overlay. I could then have an overlay or a stack box with an overlay, really is kind of more then this overlay attaches to this overlay. <laughs> and now these two are stacked on top of each other and I can move this whole overlay. Okay, so then I just go fill and I've got one right in the very middle. And if I wanted to move the overlay whatsoever, it'll move the text and the image with it. See that? And this all goes on within this overlay, which covers the entire screen, no matter where it is resized to. Okay. So we've got our text, which I'm actually going to make a darker color so we can see it better. We've got our text. We've got our cool widget background. Compile this. Now, what I'm really trying to show is that it's important to get this set up correctly so that on your HUD message device when you match it, like right now, you see when you drag in the HUD message device, it says placement, bottom center, <clears throat> top center or center right. These are just the basic setups. So if we're doing a custom one, you definitely want to go into custom here. And then you see the screen anchor. You got to make sure that you select whichever screen anchor that you had selected. Like the one that we selected is called center full. I said that. And that's the one that we need. So that's going to, now that this matches where this is and this is, it should theoretically always uh, match up and actually appear on the screen. Now, I know there's a little bit, I, there's a tiny bit of a bug with uh, some HUD widgets at times taking kind of a weird anchor. But by matching this up to this, I've eliminated like 90% of my widgets appearing in weird places okay so now we got to just add the binding right so we want this text to be updated by our verse code our verse code is updating this hud message device and so if we go ahead and set the actual hud widget here to our timer our new custom timer okay but there's a problem because our timer doesn't know where to get this text from yet that's why we have to go into here we go into bindings it says you need a view model just go ahead and add the view model we need the message view model we're going to go select it has everything we need here and then we can just close that window 
And now with the text block that we want selected, in fact, I'll even name it uh, text we want. It's really useful to rename it so that you know that you're binding to the correct thing here when you have a really complex widget. And then we have add widget text we want. Okay. So you want to make sure that it's set here. And then here we actually are going to go into the text we want destination because the text block itself has all this stuff. And we actually want the text field, which is an F text. Good old F classes. <clears throat> we don't see those very much here. Okay, so uh, now we want to tell the text where to come from. So we are binding to the text here. This is the text we're binding to. Where is it going to come from? It's going to come from whatever that HUD message text is. So we want to go to the base setup UEFN HUD message text. And this is the device, the message view model device, the HUD message device text. So what this is saying, we'll compile this, save it. What this is saying is, oh, sorry. We're going to take whatever text is here, and that's going to be the text that goes into this text block on this device. Okay. So now we've got the anchors set up. We've got the text set up. And... We should just be able to push one more time and let's see if it works. Okay, and now I'm remembering that I had pushed my changes before because I wanted to show you what the basic HUD message looked like. But we're just going to go ahead and start moment of truth, see if it works here. And there it is. We've got a custom uh, background and... This would be if I wanted to have any kind of uh, image as well with it or any kind of cool effects. Anything that you can put into that awesome blueprint there. And there it goes. Max timer reached. The timer stops. And that's the last time that it runs. So it was a success. I apologize for rambling and making this video longer than I intended it to be. But I hope that you learned something. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them below or join the Discord. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for being here. And I hope that you learned something. I hope this was of value. So take care, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.